a young maiden who was, through no fault of her own, accidentally betrothed by her, her feckless brother to Vainamoinen, a guy who was so old and wise he was born 40 years old. And she decided rather than marry this old coot, she'd rather turn into a fish. Now Vainamoinen, being wise, you know, consulted various sources and found out where she was lurking. And so he went fishing. And finally he got a bite, and there it was, a salmon trout upon the hook. He pulled it up into the boat and dropped it on the, the bottom boards, turned it over, looked it over, and then he made this observation. That fish is sure, it sure is like a fish, though I do not recognize it. It's too smooth to be a light fish, lighter than the, the lake trout, paler than a pike should be, rather fitless for a roe fish. It's too odd to be a human. Without a headband, it's no maiden, and unfilted, it's no naiad. Earless, it's no little chicken. It looks mostly like a salmon, or perhaps a deep sea perch. On his belt, he bore a knife in his scabbard, silver hilted. From his side, he drew the knife from its sheath, sheath the silver hafted to dismember his first catch and prepare the salmon slices for his breakfast, morning snacks, salmon, di salmon dinners, and big suppers. <laughs> he began to cut the salmon. Since the sliced the fish up with his knife, suddenly the beauty sprang and it flipped into the sea from the bottom of the red boat from the boat of Vainamoinen. And it, from there it raised its head, and a smooth right shoulder lifted on the fifth gust of the wind, and upon the sixth high roller. Then it raised a right hand up, and a left foot too appeared, on the seventh billow's back, riding on the ninth high roller. Then it spoke up with, in clear words, and berated Vainamoinen. Oh, you, you old Vainamoinen, I did not intend to come here to be sliced up for, for a salmon to serve myself as cuts of fish for your breakfast, morning snacks, salmon dinner, dinners, or big suppers. Said old Vainamoinen meekly, why then did you come at all? I had come to be your chicken, sheltered underneath your armpit, there to stay with you forever, always as your lifelong helpmate, to make your bed and soothe your pillow, clean your cabin, sweep your floor, light your fires, bake your fat loaves, bake you even honey bread serve you, uh, you with great stoops of ale, and set your meals before you. I was not a simple salmon, nor am I a deep sea perch. I was made in virgin to a sister of young Jukohanan, whom you hunted so for long and desired all your lifetime. Oh, you, you old duffer at heart, you stupid Vainamoinen! <laughs> you had not the wit, the sense to hold me, but Bellavo's young water maiden, Otto's favorite little Aino, Said old Vainamoinen meekly, head bowed down, bowed down in deep dejection. Ah, oh, it's Jukahainen's sister. Do come back to me again. But she did not come back ever. Never did she come again. <laughs> this is from the the tale, the the the, the Kalevala, the Finnish national epic. I figured it had to be.